Joining me to share his favourite things with us is someone who quickly became a favourite on TikTok and his debut single, Fake Fine, topped the Irish charts last year. He's back with his second sin. He's back with his second single, The Hurt You Give Me. I'm just going to do that all over again. <laughs> Can you tell this is the first time I've spoken all morning? Um, it's a bit early, yelling. isn't it? Be, yeah, beso- be, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Besides yelling at the kids to get out of here so mum can be <laughs> professional. Um, let's go. Um, joining me to share his favourite things with us is someone who quickly became a favourite on TikTok and his debut single, Fake Fine, topped the Irish charts last year. He's back with his second single, The Hurt You Gave Me. It is Robert Grace. Robert, it's so good to have you back on the show. Thank you very much for having me. How was the end of 2020? Was it real whirlwind for you? I know everything going on in the world, but you had such success. Yeah, I mean, it was, it had a great year, to be honest. Even like with everything going on, it's hard to to give out too much from my point of view. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was mad. See, my wife was pregnant as well, and we actually had our second baby in january so it was it was crazy crazy congratulations yeah thank you very much thank you very much but uh no it was a great year so how were you juggling everything new baby new success keeping up with tiktok because that in itself is a full-time job yeah it uh i don't know i i had to take january off um you know but which i was still trying to post here and there but it was very very hard like very hard to 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 concentrate on because as you said tiktok is is a job in itself nearly trying to you know to keep up and be and have good content you know what i mean as well and, and put thought into what you're doing so yeah i couldn't do that for a while and it was bugging me um not bugging me in a bad way it's just like i didn't want to fall behind you know what i mean yeah. that was kind of my thing is like i, I obviously i wanted to give uh, the new baby and my family like 100 percent of my attention but at the same time there was a part of me that was like you know, didn't want to lose everything or, you know, was like afraid. But, you know, it was it was it worked out great. And like um, actually just hit over a million followers last week. Congratulations. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. I have one point two now as well. So it's 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 mad. So two two hundred thousand followers in a week extra, you know, after hitting a million. It's crazy. Um, and that that's the thing, isn't it, Robert? Like it, the success is great. But there's a pressure that sort of comes with success, the success, because, you know, you release fake fine. It does really well. It, it does what you want it to do. And then yeah. is there a part of me that goes, oh, my God, I mean, this is what I want to do. But now I have to release a second single. And there was no pressure for fake fine. But is there pressure with the second single? Is that going on in your head or am I making that all up? It's uh, like it, it would be like why it's not going on in my head at the moment is because like we have some serious songs there. You know what I mean? Like. Like the hurt you gave me isn't necessarily the best song out of every song we have. You know what I mean? It's just the song wow. that we, felt, we felt would be the next, the best choice to go next. So like, yeah, I still have. We have so many songs there that I just feel like are 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 so good. So I'm not, you know, I'm not too worried. I'm like, you know, I think it'll do well, and it is doing well at the moment, uh, as well. You know, it's only been out what three weeks, I think, now at this stage, but it's it's doing really really well. But I still feel like you know the best is is yet to come. Um, so it's it's exciting you know and I'm not too I'm not too worried which is great that's that's not worrying me too much anyway that's fantastic but does that mean that we have a debut album or an EP on the way if you've got all these songs in the bag yeah I mean an album is definitely come I mean we were probably thinking the end of this year originally to release an album but I I'd say it'll be the start of 2022 just you know because we're hoping the world will be you know, somewhat back to normal at that stage and we can really push or give the album the preserves rather than, you know, to be able to go and like go to radio stations and whether and as well, like maybe travel abroad to do certain promo, to be able to do all that and not worry too much, you know. I was talking to um, ATB, A7S and Topic a little earlier on and they were talking about their success and they said that, you know, last year was phenomenal for them, but it was really weird because, yes, they enjoyed it, but you don't actually get to go out there and see it happening. Like you're watching it through a phone. How do you think it's going to feel for you when, because that's been all of yours. You've yeah. literally been watching it through a phone. How do you think it's going to feel for you when you can actually get into in there? Like I've interviewed you twice and twice it's been <laughs> on Zoom when we yeah. can actually see each other in person. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I mean, I'm really looking forward to going back into it like I, I was only saying this the other day like going into radio stations I really love it I just love you know what I mean I love the whole setting and 
I mean, it's I just I just enjoy that that part of of music, I, like you know, traveling around, going in for interviews, um, actually speaking to someone face to face. I mean, it's still good that we can do it this way, but you know, yeah. it's, you, you do miss have like actually being in there, um, yeah, and like it is weird. I mean, I still feel just exactly the same. I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm just very ordinary, <laughs> as in, you know, I have, you know, my wife, I have two kids. I'm just trying to get through every day, trying to keep everyone entertained, uh, <laughs> you know, and that's it, you know. And again, I don't see that because you can't go anywhere, you know, even like, say, going down to the pub or something, then people might say something to you. Right? Like, I don't, there's none of that either. Yeah. You know, I just, I just hear what people say to me and it's hard to believe it then sometimes, you know, like some people are like, I've often been told like, oh, I got a message from this person and they said that their son, you know, saw you in super value and like was starstruck and like didn't know what to do or like they didn't know if they wanted to say hello to you. But I was just like, I didn't see any of it. You know, I'm just walking around like buying, getting water and, you know, <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it, yeah, it, is, it doesn't seem real, I suppose, because you, you can't experience it properly. So as you said, you're just living through your phone, which is yeah. like, doesn't, is nearly like, you know, an escape. It doesn't seem like reality. You know, I suppose the difference is, though, you've been able to develop as an artist as you've wanted to. And I know you've had eyes on you, but the pressure is a different type of pressure, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I definitely have a lot more control, I think, this way. Um, you know, which is good to kind of figure out what, what I want to do and what is my like, it's very I still don't know, like who who I am <laughs> as like um, an artist just yet. I mean, I, I'm definitely getting there, but, you know, it's still it's it's still kind of figuring out what, who am I as an artist and, you know, what do I want my sound to be exactly like? And because I've written, I'm just used to writing songs in, in, you know, so many different styles that I'm, it's hard to kind of figure out what is my style, you know? But, do you know, I think I, I've spoken to a few people who have mentioned that and I think that's the great thing now. You don't have to have a particular boxed in style. Your style, the style is, Robert Grace and whatever Robert Grace wants to give us we're happy true, to receive yeah, yeah. we're happy to put it out there yeah I mean that's very true as well I mean I, I would like to have you know a bit of everything on the album like not not go mental but like a bit of you know a, a bit of everything I think would be nice yeah. um you know have the kind of ballads have the pop songs you know maybe have a slightly dancier song in there have I'm happy know, to receive a... that I'm yeah. so happy to receive <laughs> that so yeah you know that's what I'd like I mean and but but I think there's a way of doing that while still keeping everything very similar. You know what I mean? I think it's just yeah. a case of of you know figuring that out as well. But I think it, I think it can happen. Yeah, so do I. Uh, now listen, we want to. I know you're still trying to figure out your style. We want to find out a bit about more a bit more about you though through your favorite things. Are you ready to get straight into it? Yeah, let's go. What TV show are you obsessing over right now? It's it's mad because I kind of I go through phases of being obsessed with this specific TV show because uh, like I'll I'll watch it religiously for a while and then I won't watch it for a couple of months and then I'll go back into it again. But uh, Rick and Morty is like one of my all time favorite TV shows and I just it's one of those shows that you could just rewatch like you'll find new bits in every episode every time you watch them you know so it's I'm obsessed with that. Your favorite book. This is the, this is a weird one. I don't like I don't usually read books because I never usually get time to finish one. So like the last book I read was like properly was probably in like primary school and it was called like <laughs> the legend the legend of Spud Murphy or something like that. So it was <laughs> like it's been a long time since I've actually read a proper a proper book. So I don't necessarily have a favorite book, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, probably you've probably read more children's books than you have adult. Oh, books. definitely. Yeah. yeah, there's like the pop up Pickaboo Monsters is probably my favorite book at the moment. So <laughs> oh, I'll give you a, a kid's book that you should get into. Um, it's called Do Not Open This Book. And it's by an author called Andy Lee. He's an Australian radio host. And we are obsessed with it in this house. There, There's four of them. And oh, they're really? worth getting. Yeah, yeah there's so yeah, yeah. 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 I actually um, love kids' books. Oh yeah. Um, and then we feel like we're reading at the same time yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> um, your favorite film? Um, this was a hard one. I I think I'm gonna go I have loads of favorite films, but my like one of my one I I could watch over and over again is What We Do in the Shadows. Did you ever see that? No, it's like a it's 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 a New Zealand it's it's oh meant my to be God, like Ta Taika Waititi. Yeah, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, 
it's about like a, a group of vampires a flat together in New Zealand and it's meant to be like a, a documentary you know and it's oh, actually it's so f- I love I love the New Zealand humor in it like it's it's uh it's so good actually anything by Taika is yeah, fantastic um, yeah, and then yeah, he very... went on to make if people are going the name sounds familiar I'm not sure about these films the director behind Thor the best Thor out there Thor yeah. Ragnarok wasn't Isn't that yeah, mad? Was Ragnarok. Yeah. yeah and it, when you watch it though you realize it I think when you know that he did it and then you watch it you're like oh my god you can kind of you can feel him off it I think it's just it's so uh yeah anyway he's, yeah. he's really good what song should everyone have on their pumped up playlist um it's I, this song now is uh bad girls don't cry by the night game i think it's uh it's such such a tune it's a real 80s feel to it but it's such such a tune do you have a favorite album i have i have a few but my my all-time favorite album is i think uh from under the cork tree by follow by um back in the day do you know this is why i love doing favorite things because half of the stuff you're telling me i would never have guessed I, I think you get to you get to learn a lot about people through their favorite things. Um, do you have a favorite podcast? I do. It's uh, there, it's it's weird. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's called the H Three Podcast. Um, oh, what's that one? Yeah, it's just it's just basically they don't necessarily talk about anything in particular. They talk about any anything <laughs> really. But uh, I just find I just find them very entertaining. Uh, it's a guy called Eaton and his and his wife uh, Ela, I think is her name as well, and they're. Yeah, they're just very, they're just very good. Ethan is like super funny, just like he, he doesn't, he literally has no, what's the word? He's no lid on what he could say, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and he also does this other podcast called Frenemies with this girl called um, Trisha Paytas. And that's, that's very good. They used to hate each other and then he got her in to do a podcast and it's just so, it's very entertaining. But yeah, that's just, I usually watch that in the evening um, when I get a chance uh but yeah. it's really really i'd recommend watching it it's very good what app can't you live without i mean probably tiktok that's like <laughs> at the moment i'd be surprised if you said yeah. something completely different <laughs> yeah I, I'd, I'd probably have to say tiktok uh who's your favorite account to follow on tiktok besides yourself obviously <laughs> there's there's this <laughs> there's this guy called i just find him very entertaining he's called onyx the fortuitous fortuitous i think is what he's called and he's like, uh, for ages, I thought this person, this guy was actually this character. Like, I, I was conv- I was like, this lad is so odd in a way. Like, he's like, if he's actually like, and I, I was convinced he was like this. And then I realized he was making a movie and he came out as himself, as an act- actual self to talk about. And I was like blown away because I was convinced. I was convinced that this was who he was, like that he was this character. And uh, that's how good he was at, at doing it. You know, uh, it's this guy who used to. Whenever on the news that people were say something happened, he'd go down and he'd be one of the people who, who witnessed what was going on. And it's, uh, so you should look him up if you can. Onyx the Fortuitous, it's, it's he's he's hilarious. Cool. We all need a bit of a laugh, so I think I'm adding him. Yeah. And what's I think this is an obvious one, but I'll let you take it. What's gotten you through lockdown? Ah, uh, I go like my family definitely, and def and I think TikTok as well. Like as in being able to to you know, to make music and to post, like, what's, what I love about TikTok is that, you know, you can do something every day and you get a reaction straight away. And I think that's kind of gives me, give like at the start anyway, it gave me purpose, you know, like to kind of keep doing something and in a routine, like I used to go up in the morning, get breakfast, go up, do a TikTok, you know, that was yeah. what I did for every day for like two months at the start. Um, But now like definitely my family as well, um, a hundred percent. Like if I did, like if every day is, 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 you know different like you can't plan any day really with, with I feel like with kids because you just don't where you don't know where it's going to go um because <laughs> like my son is three and a half and he I don't know what way he's going to be every day it's a it's just a roll the dice and see what happens <laughs> so uh you know so that's what it's kind of it's it's nice as well though because you just don't you don't know what to expect I think that's what's yeah. uh what's good and that's exciting and you're always kept busy I think with kids as well so you're never you never have a moment to just like wonder what's going on <laughs> you know, you're, you're <laughs> Look, kept busy enjoy enjoy spending the time with your family can't wait till we can steal you a little bit from them and actually have these conversations in person robert it's so great to see you doing so well thank you very much no i'm definitely looking forward to coming up at, at some point when when possible oh, i can't wait to have you in the studio <laughs>